What's up Guardians and welcome to another Destiny gameplay video. In this video I want to talk about equipment use, when to use it, why you use it, and just in general remembering to use it. So by equipment I'm referring to your grenades and uh, melee abilities such as throwing knives, anything that you can use to do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. But the thing about your equipment is that it has to be used well. It has the potential to do uh, just that, a lot of damage in a short amount of time. But it has to be used at the right time, or else uh, most people will just end up whiffing on throwing knives, uh, and also not hitting anything with grenades, or hitting someone with it, but not at the right time, so they have plenty of time to recover from the damage. So the question is, when do you use them and why? So let me just replay this clip for you. I chose to use my throwing knife here because I had low uh, health at the time, and this guy was charging me with a shotgun after he dropped my teammate. He had a shotgun. I'm using a scout rifle and a sniper, so I'm not equipped for close quarters, uh, close quarters combat. So uh, I used my throwing knife, and then on the second guy I used my throwing knife because he was next to an enemy orb, and I didn't want him to get that revive. Here I use the throwing knife uh, just because I know that this guy's got me dead to rights, and uh, I'm probably not going to outgun him at that point. So I threw a throwing knife as a Hail Mary. Ended up catching him in the ankles, and uh, then my teammates are able to revive me, and I can continue my kill streak. We ended up coming back and winning this match, coming from behind. Now, in terms of trip mines, trip mines can be used as ambush, but they can also be used to finish off primed targets who go behind cover where you can't see them. And then there are other types of grenades, like the scatter grenade, grenades that do more of an area of effect type of damage. So on heavy round on Trials of Osiris, or any time heavy's about to spawn on the map, heavy ammo is like a flame that attracts moths. So I'm just going to blink up and throw a grenade right on top of the heavy box. And uh, you can see I got a double kill off of one grenade. If you watch the damage numbers popping up on the screen, you can see uh, they were right on top of that box, able to take two out. Here I use a lightning grenade on a choke point to prime a target. That's a great way to use your equipment. Whenever someone's about to come around the corner and you want to tilt the odds into your favor, go ahead and use a grenade to prime them as they come through those choke points. Timing is crucial. You don't want to be too early so that they can recognize it and back off. You also don't want to be too late because when you're throwing a grenade and you're doing the motion, you also can't fire your weapon. So you're kind of a sitting duck if you do it too late. So timing is crucial, try and catch them right as they're walking into the choke point before they have time to react to the grenade. Now lightning grenades are a lot of fun to use. I'm a huge fan of using lightning grenades. Uh, here's an instance where I'm able to get uh, two post-mortem kills with one grenade. And uh, I, it's because I whiff on my super here. I see they're all bunched up. I, I activate my super way too early. And as soon as I come out of the animation, I chuck that lightning grenade on the wall to the left. Uh, knowing that the you know the arcing tree comes out to the right, you know obviously that's how those grenades work. So I just make it so that they're going to be in that area of effect, and they're going to have to react quickly. And if they don't, they're going to get punished for it. And that's exactly what happened. I was able to get a full team wipe, even though two of the kills I got post mortem. Here you see me throwing a lightning grenade, and it primes two guys. One guy can't get out of it in time, and it finishes him off. The other had to drop back, and he's pretty easy pickings if I hard scope and come around the corner uh, ready for him. Now I'm about to get another lightning grenade. This is the, the joy of using the armamentarium as a titan, is that lightning grenades are some of the most powerful grenades in the game. And here I use it to catch a guy as he's running away to get cover, and it finishes him off. Lightning grenade here, I wanted that special ammo, so if he was going to get it, I was going to make sure that he paid for it. And then a guy comes in behind me and gets the kill, but he can't get out of my grenade in time. Two kills for one grenade is always a good trade-off. So grenades are great for doing that, catching people off, off guard. They're looking out primarily for uh, human combatants, uh, you know, the, but they're not necessarily mindful of equipment all the time. And even though there's that indicator that pops up on their HUD that there's a grenade nearby, it doesn't exactly show you precisely where the grenade is located, and with grenades like lightning grenades, it's hard to tell when you're outside of the area of effect or not, since it pulsates. You might think that you're clear once you stop taking damage, but it's just because it's in between pulses of the grenade. So if you ever watch any tournaments or scrimmages, which I highly encourage you to do, and you watch top tier players play this game, you'll notice that equipment is a huge factor in whether they win or lose. It's often the team that makes the best use of their equipment that comes out on top. 
because what they can do is in these firefights where they prime targets they know exactly where to throw a follow-up grenade in order to finish off uh, an enemy and another thing they do is that a lot of them have, have uh, started to see good combinations where all you need to do is, is one shot with thorn and follow it up with a grenade and in uh, multiple cases that is enough damage to kill someone instantly they've learned to play to the strengths of certain uh, grenades like arc bolts, their ability to chain through multiple targets. Firebolt grenades are great for taking a single combat, uh, combatant out of the game or out of the engagement for a short period of time as they have to go away and sort of eat that burn. So it's a good way of tilting the scales back and going instead of uh, one on two, you can go one on one by eliminating one person from the engagement by putting a burn on them. So I hope this is helpful. Hopefully you'll start to think about your equipment, what you have equipped, and how you can use it to your advantage because that's in a lot of cases the thing that can save a game for you and give you the advantage. Thanks for stopping by guys.